story is a lot to see at cbrnews.org. The items there remembering the floods from one year ago. Cross Pat Mack returned to Jamestown to see how people are recovering from the floods. You can also see a lot of before and after pictures of some spots that were pretty wiped out last year and how they look today. And there's a lot of things to do in the weekly arts roundup. And that's all at cprnews.org. Support comes from Kaiser Permanente, dedicated to improving business performance by providing a care delivery model where doctors, nurses, and other experts all work collaboratively. Learn more at workthinkthrive.org. Support comes from Fagri Baker Daniels, lawyers counseling conventional and renewable energy companies on regulatory, litigation, and transactional issues. On the web at fagribd.com. September 12, 2 a.m. Rain's been coming down for days and the river's rising. Justin Roth wrote the song Rise after seeing one of his favorite spots in Lyons submerged by the flood a year ago. He's just one of the guests who will mark the anniversary with us on Colorado Matters today. We'll also check in on Estes Park, which is rethinking its identity a year later. I'm Ryan Warner. Tune in at 10 this morning and 7 tonight to CPR News. Temperatures around the Denver area are staying cool today, but getting warmer for the weekend. This is Colorado Public Radio. After a little more rain this morning, things clearing up for the afternoon. Highs today in the 50s around Denver and Boulder, Fort Collins, and in Pueblo, and all along the Front Range. Sunny skies for the weekend, and temperatures back into the 70s tomorrow for the Denver area. In the mountains, a nice weekend, sunny skies, highs staying in the 50s, near 70, Grand Junction this afternoon. An old saying goes that there are three sides to every story. Your side, their side, and the truth. That is basically the premise of a new triple feature. Three films show a crumbling relationship from three points of view. This cinematic trilogy is called The Disappearance of Eleanor Rigby. Him, her, and them. Them comes out in theaters today. Him and her will be released next month. NPR's Netta Ulabi has more. It's a romantic scene of a 